Hi everybody, welcome to Developmental Psychology. My name is Stephanie Krausick and I will be your instructor for this course. While we look at the various stages of life throughout each week of this course, I want to point out that while the life stages are all mostly the same, essentially for everyone, so much of who we are and how we develop in each one of these life stages is conditional on our lived experiences. As individuals go through life, their health and well-being is affected by a number of different factors. These factors play into the growth and development of individuals, both positively and negatively. These factors include physical, emotional, social, economic, uh, environmental factors, uh, worldview, and uh, faith are all things that contribute to these factors as well. In most cases, we will all go through the various stages of life. We all are born. Once we're born, we turn one, then we turn two, then five, then 10, then 15, and so on. Of course, God willing. But the experience is different. And then the, the perspective of life from somebody who was raised uh, to follow Jesus or a uh, family that chooses to follow Christ is going to look very different than perhaps a family that doesn't. And believe it or not, faith actually plays an astonishing role in establishing a sense of meaning. Um, this meaning is necessary for us to cope with life's stressors and traumas. This is really, really true uh, for the events that lie beyond our expected, uh, you know, normal experiences, things that fall outside of that that understanding of normal. So while our textbook can speak to what's developmentally normal or um, on par with uh, a particular life stage, during certain stages of life, it really is our lived experiences that truly develop our sense of self. Keep in mind that much of a person's psychological development occurs really during the first 20 years of our life. Now, this is according to theorists such as Erickson and Paget and Vatsky and Marsha. So we're gonna stay consistent with these theorists and these concepts. So keeping, con keeping consistent with these different theorists, think about two individuals. Let's suppose they are both the same age and they're both the same gender uh, and they're both in the same uh, socioeconomic class but both can live very, very different lives because of their upbringing. One could be raised in a household filled with love. Everything they do is in love, while another maybe not. Both teenagers will continue to develop and mature throughout their various life stages. They're all going to hit those different benchmarks, but their experiences that they live through are really going to look very different how they were communicated to, what were their expectations in the household, uh, what was their family's view of accomplishment and achievement or failure, uh, what were their top priorities. These experiences contribute to the development of ourselves. And depending on when these experiences hit and the stage of development, growth and development that we are in, this is what kind of creates this uh, life as we know it, and sometimes not as easy as maybe some. So keep these things in mind as we go through this class. Remember that the developmental stages are kind of like each of us having another birthday. Some people are excited to turn 40 years old. Other people are miserable and they hate it. And, you know, they can only think of the over the hill birthday parties with the black and the cane and, you know, the whole nine yards. But regardless, we all turn 40, of course, God willing. But all the details get a little bit foggy and, and hairy, depending on uh, our experiences and what we're thinking, you know, our perceptions of turning 40. So looking forward to working with each of you, just a little bit of insight going into this course. Um, we are going to cover the, very, the various stages of uh, development, but we're really going to dig into some of these concepts. And one thing that you're going to be able to take away from this course is understanding the uh, the Christian worldview or the biblical component and aspect of each one of these life stages. That's something that I'm very passionate about. We can all learn what it looks like from zero to five, five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 40, and so on. We can go through that. Our textbook can help us with that. And so can Google. But what really uh, 
is where what we can really find challenging through this is understanding what was God's intent. Why did um, why why are these stages set up the way they are? So um, I look forward to interacting with everybody in our discussions. Please feel free to send me questions if you have any. And uh, until we see each other again.